Hi from the Today Show. As you know, our best reporters have been have crashed on their plane ride to the Antarctica on their on their report for life. I'm going to try and contact them right in front of you guys right here. Hello, you guys. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Are you safe? Yes. yes. Um. Do you know where you are at all? No. no. What a coffee shop. Um, well, do you have any clues that might help you figure it out? Yes. 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 Let's share. <laughs> well, when I was walking in the streets, um, I found myself in front of a big building. I heard two people yelling at each other. I guess one was from Colombia, from the way he talked. I guess these countries didn't get along together very well. I found out that we are located in the northern part of northern part of South America, and it gets between 70 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit in most places here. I walked a couple miles from our crash site. I figured out I was at a baseball field. I talked to some players. They went to the World Cup series and got their first. They qualified and got their first place medal. I got, I had the chance to talk to a high school principal at a school and he told me that enrollment from kindergarten to graduation level is free and if you would like to go to college it's also free. He also told me that he is happy because the enrollment has risen from the past three years and he said that 80% of children go to public schools and the rest of the 20% go to private schools. I landed on a beach on the Caribbean Sea. It seems like a very popular tourist, but tourist site for most, most people in this country. I, I landed on one of the many islands of this Mr. country, and it's named after the margarita plant. In my travels, I notice many very rich and many very poor people. Many of the poor people appear to be squatters and live in Shantae's. Where I later did was at a party. It looked like a wedding from seven boys and seven girls. He told me it was a like he and uh, this young girl is turning 15 years old and she's not actually getting married. Well, when I landed, I landed at a party. But it seemed to be a children's party because um, <laughs> I seen children blindfolded and heading a pinata. It says here that coffee is the number one selling drink, apparently. These people drink a cup of coffee every meal and several times between meals. Friends will often meet each other at the um, streets and walk to a cafe. And I must say this coffee is delicious. True that! True that! <laughs> well, I landed somewhere near a beautiful plaza. After confirming with some locals, they told me that it was in honor of Simon Volva. And if you can't see this picture, I am sorry. <laughs> well, anyway, he was the greatest general in South America for his many victories over the, over the Spaniards. He has many holidays and even some places named after him. He is very popular here. Oh my gosh, I just ran into the president. He told me about the executive branch in this beautiful country. He told me in the cabinet that the Council of Ministers is appointed by the President. He also told me that he was elected on February 2nd, 1999, and he told me he was re-elected. When, when I landed, I landed at Angel Falls, the tallest waterfall in the world. It was beautiful. Some locals told me that Angel Falls is 15 times taller than Niagara Falls. A sign said that Na Angel Falls was named after James Angel, an adventurous pilot who first saw Angel Falls in 1933. In my travels, I the people in this country were preparing for Christmas. I heard children and their relatives singing a song called Feliz Navidad, which means Merry Christmas in Spanish. I also heard children talking about putting their shoes underneath their pillows so they can be filled with small toys, fruits, and other food. I can tell the 
I can tell the people in this country are excited for Christmas. When I, when I parachuted down, I was at an oil field. It seems to be a big part of this country, this country's economy. I saw Canadian and American businessmen there to purchase the oil. It seemed expensive, go figure. It seems that oil would affect everyone's lives here. Well, Sully, as I looked around, I figured I'd also run my churches. What I learned is that 95% of the country is Catholic, 2% Protestant, Protestant, and the rest are Jewish. So, Sully, can you ask the viewers to find out where we crashed? I sure can. Viewers, if you know anything about where they are, please send us an email, and we'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.